everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and today I'm reviewing eBay. This was the play of the day. A really nice gap and actually what I want to talk about tonight is not necessarily the play itself today but why did it work? Okay, why does trading gaps in the manner that I do work? I'm going to give a very quick basic definition for people for for anyone everyone out there because I think it's important because this is a great example. I knew this would work. I had 100% conviction. No chance of failure. This would work today. I was right. It was my top pick. It was my highest rated gap. I used my system. The gap rated 23 points. It worked. It fell. It dropped. It went to all the targets. It's good. I also called a put in the options letter for this too. eBay very well could be lower in the time frame as well. You could have taken it and gotten out today as a put. But as far as a day trade today, eBay was a short. Now, why did it work? How did I know it would work? What is the purpose of the Golden Gap 26 points? What's the purpose of even taking my class? The purpose is to find institutional selling or buying in a stock when it's gapping and determine if it will follow through in the gap or not, which is what the points determine. So, when I'm looking at a gap, whether it's a bullish gap or a bearish gap, and I mostly focus on shorts. So a stock is gapping down, like eBay, for example, okay? Now, here's what happened. The stock closed the night before at 37.95 and opened this morning at what? 35.17, so the stock gapped down, okay? And it's not about a percentage. There's nothing in the points that are about a percentage. I know I get asked the question a lot. It's nothing about percentages. I'm telling you that you're looking for the gap. Then you're gonna rate it. And when I'm reading the gap in the pre-market, or you could do it in the post-market, or the pre-market, I usually wait till the morning, I'm determining if institutional selling will come in on the live day that you could short the stock, or if institutional buying will come in on the live day to buy the stock. And I'm going to give you another example of that in the reverse, which was also today, which was IBM. IBM had earnings too, IBM gapped up. A gap up is the difference between the close and open. It moves higher. The close here is 144.52. The open today was what? 147.85. So IBM gapped up. It moved up. And so the rating system you learn from me will determine and help me determine if this is going to follow through with institutional buying. You can make money in the market if you go long stocks that are being bought by institutions and you can short stocks by being uh, the stocks that are being sold off by institutions. That's how you make money. So let me just say that again slower. I'm sorry, I'm getting very excited here. But when you're going long, you have to be in a stock that is moving up quick, fast, hard, and it really moves for you to make money. You've got to be in the right direction. What are you looking for? Institutional buying. When you're shorting a stock, what are you looking for? Institutional selling. And how do I know that that's going to happen? How do I predict before it happens? I predict the gap. I, pre I predict the move the gap will make. I'm sorry, I don't predict the gap itself. The gaps happen whether up or down, then I predict the move that it will make on the live day, starting at 9.30, as soon as it opens, whether up or down. And actually, let's look at IBM here because I didn't do anything with this today, but I did see this this morning. I just wanna see how this set up here today. Well, there you have it, see? Look at that. Ooh. So, wow, what a, this is a big one. So, this worked. Obviously, if you'd gone long, IBM today, per my system, which we looked at eBay for the short, but if you had done this too, you could have done both. You would have made good money today. This moved up. This had a beautiful, massive, more than $2 move. That was, that was terrific. Yep, there was a the setup. So, this is what you learned from me. And I'm telling you, that's how you make money in the market. You can't go against what the institutions are doing or you're going to get creamed. You have to be able to pinpoint and predict what they're doing. And if you can, it's very easy to trade. It doesn't mean that every trade works. It means that way more trades work than do not work. And therefore, it's fun to do. It's fun to make money in the market. It's fun to make money in the market in several minutes. And I'm just going to quickly pull up eBay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here. So eBay set up. Boom, boom, drop. You could have gotten out. Drop. You could have gotten out. That's it. I mean, you're in and out and before 10 o'clock in the morning, between 9.30 and 10 is the time looking to train. Sometimes we're in for one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five. Either way, boom, boom. Take it, get out. Take it, get out. IBM was the exact same way, except it was a long, okay? 
So you have to know what to look for. You have to know the setups, but the most important thing, getting back to what I was originally saying, is why does, why does my system work? My system works because I'm pinpointing institutional money in the market, whether buying or selling. You go long institutional buying and you short institutional selling, and that's how you're gonna make money in the market. And not only that, you can make a lot. It all depends on the size you take. For example, if you short 5,000 shares of something that drops a buck, guess what? Your profits are gonna be five grand. So this is worthwhile to look into people. I'm telling you, my system, my class, it's worthwhile and it works. You're gonna learn how to see this. It's price action. Gaps are so specific and you know, I, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm blessed because a lot of people do not understand gaps and I do, I have something very, very special. So if you're interested in learning my method, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com about the Golden Gap. The class is this weekend, July 21st and 22nd. Thanks everyone, have a great day.